If you've ever had to do any business in a courthouse, you know it can be intimidating, even if it's a civil matter or a simple parking ticket. So Larimer County is trying to create a more welcoming atmosphere, especially for people who speak English as a second language. Marissa Armas checked out the changes as part of CBS 4's commitment to elevating Latino voices. And Marissa, this is a successful program. Yeah, Karen, the Larimer County Courthouse is seeing an uptick in the amount of people utilizing these services. And the judges who started this program say that making the judicial system better for one group makes it better for everyone. Walking into the Larimer County Courthouse, things are a little different than they used to be. Somebody right away to welcome you and figure out where do you need to go, what are you looking for, so you're not so disoriented. Because for many, the criminal justice system is intimidating. It's difficult to understand for, you know, for regular folks. And certainly for people who all, it's not their first language. That need prompted Judges Susan Blanco and Juan Villasenor to create the Latinx Task Force in the 8th Judicial District after they began noticing that many Latinos didn't understand how the American justice system works. They also held a community meeting to hear from people. I was for the first time exposed truly to hearing a lot of the issues that were plaguing the community, um, specifically for the Latina community and the frustration people had about the process. With those frustrations realized, they began implementing more than just a welcome desk. The task force revamped the probation department's materials and training. They partnered with CSU to increase Spanish-speaking providers and worked to simplify and translate documents. They also created an advisement video to help explain legal terms in Spanish. People are responding, people are coming in, Court data shows that from 2020 to now, there are more than five times as many people approaching the court for help in languages other than English than before the program began. These judges hope that the task force shows not just Latinos, but all members of the community, that the court is not only diversifying, but evolving for the people. And my hope is that the community will also start to see that and start to hopefully have a trust for our system. We want to help the community. Um, but it takes community members to trust us to come and talk with us. Now, the judges tell us that aside from having these resources in Spanish, they now have it available in several other languages. They say, while this is a good step in the right direction, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done. In Denver, Marissa Armas covering Colorado First. All right, great story, Marissa. Thank you. As some school districts.